our local auctioneer has passed away. He was somewhere around 30, 35, 35, 40. Welcome to Shave and Butcher for a little unboxing. I know what it is, but it's fun to unbox anyway. Let's see how we do this. I can't see. I'm like a blind bat. I'm cutting the, the thing. Was that successful? Oh, it was such a good box. I don't want to ruin it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I barely know what I'm doing. Mm. Huh? <laughs> I clearly don't know what I'm doing. How did you manage to get this? So, there you go. Okay, so opening up and in we have a Joseph Haywood racer. This is from my friend Val Walter Seriaulo. I butchered his name. He sends this in a bag of plastic with this um, thing that absorbs moisture. Oh, it's so professional, it's unbelievable. Let, let us see, huh? Cool. It's a shape of a racer I haven't seen, so real Yorkshire bite. <laughs> How cool is that? Joseph Haywood, and it says, what does it say? We, I guess, I think it's a Sheffield Bracer anyway. Here you go, here it is. Real Yorkshire bite, and that's the, I will study it carefully. And a cool shape, a really cool shape. It's supposed to be um, sharp, so let's put it to use. I also have another thing, which is a gift. It's from Brian. I didn't ask permission for out who Brian is, but it's, it's Brian. He said a comment somewhere, and I just I put him in touch with the, the Swedish witch, and he bought quite a bit of stuff, and I said thank you. He purchased a brand new soap from the Swedish Witch. This is the, the vegan base, which I'm not sure that I've tried before. Lavender, luxury soap. So very cool. I'll get prepped and we'll get, we'll get a shave as well. See you soon. And we're back. So I wanna put the sticker out, put it in a nice container, make it look pretty. The Swedish Witch Soap, so I won't use it today. Thank you, Brian. Brian Eagle. Here you go. Very much appreciated. Instead, let's do a shave with Diamond from Barrister and Man. There's not a whole lot left. There's just a teeny bit. But that's quite a few shaves as it is. And we'll shave with a, with a razor. Uh, razor Razor. Uh, Grey Dog. Full moon synthetic knot, maple handle, turned by the big man himself. <clears throat> cool, very good. So, must pay attention to loading because, first of all, there's less surface touching the brush. There's a lot of water in it too. And, um, and the, the damn thing spins around. So, Loading must be made with care, vigor, and a bit longer than usual to make sure there's enough soap on the brush. Alternatively, and that's that's what I'll end up doing quite soon with this soap is, is cut a piece out, uh, press it into a bowl and load the brush from the bowl or even bowl lather. But I'm not so good at that, so I typically use the bowl just for loading. I don't know if I have enough. It is hard to say. I would know if, if it was a, a full soap, but let's see. 
we can return to the soup container whenever necessary. So let's see, Barry's turn map. So this soap is the soap is made to make you think, well the scent may make you think you're at a baseball game. So the, the diamond is is the shape of the baseball field or pitch or whatever you call it. Yes you call it a diamond. And you know, sense you, you get sense like grass, dirt. I'm making up a bit, but, but gra I think grass and dirt, uh, but also sweet notes. Um, what are the sweet notes? Well, you know, popcorn, maybe there's always a cotton, cotton candy scent. I haven't seen that at a baseball game, I don't know. But there's there's darkness and a bit of a dirty scent and and sweet scents at the same time. Already looking very, very good. I don't know what, what base this is. It's two years old, I think. I, uh, I also don't know if diamond is made, made in all the different Barrister Man bases. Or just this one. But I am running out and that's that's no good. Well, it's an, always a, an interesting day in a, in a brick shaving hobbyist's life when he, run, when he kills the soap. It doesn't happen very often. Tiny bit additional water and we're there. We're nearly there. So that's always cool because I haven't finished a lot of soaps. I think less than five or maybe five soaps that I've ever killed off. I keep buying new ones and keep trying those and just keep keep a lot of soaps. Keep a lot of soaps I don't use. I should, should do something about that. Give them away or sell them or something so that they come to use. It's just sometimes you grab a soap you haven't tried in a year and wow, it's like a new it's like getting a new soap because you barely remember what it was like. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can force even more water in so that when you do that thing on the cheek, it goes even longer. But I am conscious that time is of the essence. So once again, James Harwood. You, uh, I must read this one more time. Putting, getting soap everywhere. The Yorkshire, the York, real Yorkshire bite. The condition on this razor is just spectacular. It's like it's new. Let's see if we have an edge that works more or less. This is, uh, which I would say, a half, half hollow razor. So it has a wedgy feel. Yeah, this is drier than usual. It's a good leather, though. So like with the wedge, you get slightly more resistance, or I, I feel that anyway. Or it's the edge. I think I'm gonna get a good shave out of it. You know what? Pretty good leather. Here we go. Boom, boom. Pretty good leather. So I thought that was on the dry side. Goes to show. Okay, on the side, let's see where we're at. I haven't experimented anymore in switching hands to the... I know I call it the wrong hand. I didn't mean that. I meant the, the hand I usually don't use, the unusual hand. It 
shortcuts here. It's a little bit of a resistance. But you know, that's, that's okay. It has to be sharp. Re resistance and, and sharpness is, are different, different things. So I get quite a wedgy feel, which I actually quite like. There you go. <clears throat> but it feels good. Um, it's a bit like a massage. It's maybe like a, it's maybe a, a silly comparison, but but it works for me. Do you know what I mean? A chunkier piece of steel. Yeah, there's more. It's more going on. The perfect full hollow racer just glides through, and it's beautiful. And for the shaving experience. It's still my favorite type of razor. But half hollow, half hollow means somewhere between a wedge, which is diamond, diamond, diamond shape, and a full hollow, which is shaped like this, where the blade is thin for a long time. How follow is somewhere in between, and this is this is pretty much somewhere in between. You can't see. Here you go. Against the grain. That's when. That's when you really test the razor. Ha ha ha! Wow. You know this is going to sound unbelievable, but it's there's less resistance against the grain than with the grain. And again, it's quite typical. Well, I shouldn't say there's less, but the feeling is that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Lovely. I've got a piece of tissue, let's use that. Stretch a bit. So this this tip, which is it's muted, but it's it's still a sharp sort of tip. That helps when you shave under the nose. And if I had partial facial facial hair, it would help as well because you, you get in all the way. Lovely. Very nice. Oh, I forgot a piece. interesting with a new razor getting to know it getting to know the do's and don'ts yeah I'm, to I'm talking less than usual so a lot of you are appreciative of that you only come to see me. I'm just a piece of meat to you guys. God, what can you do? You know, you can please people in different ways. Piece of meat.
feels good. I'm trying to use the whole head. Yeah, it's so interesting because with the resistance that you get from call it the non-hollow edge, it can be mistaken for um, tugginess, but it's not tuggy. It's beautiful. And it gets an excellent result. Okay, let's get a rinse, see what we feel. And if we don't feel. Yeah, job very well done. Very well done. And a cool soap. Uh, not everyone likes the scent of the soap. This is one soap of very few where I wish I had the aftershave. Um, I almost have no matching aftershaves. I think I have three. I have Asian Plum, which I got from Dave Card. Thank you, Dave. I have um, this one from OSP. This is uh, Viking with Urban Viking. And then I have Cashmere, it's a balm, but it's a very light balm. Oh yeah, and I have Bay City from Australia. And then of course I have Tabac. And I think that's it. So what should I use for aftershaves? What goes well with this? I really don't know. Ah, tabac. Let's go Tabac. Porcelain, porcelain bottle, that's nice, more, more folks should have porcelain bottles, mm, or glass, it's classy stuff, happy, happy with that razor, really happy, it's a beauty. It's not a gift, I paid for it. But Walter Serraulo, thank you once again for selling it and for selling it at, at a really good price. I appreciate it. And the rest of you, thank you for just turning up. Well, Brian, thanks for the soap. I'll see you soon. Um, I have some interesting stuff on the way in, so I'm hoping that's gonna come maybe this week still. Until then, Sayonara and stay sharp.